All right, I wanted to get out a quicker piece than I usually am able to here. And Microsoft just dropped a new, uh, pretty, let me just say, if you're here for a tilder, uh, you could avoid the 5-4 reasoning, even at the 14B, even at FP16, in my opinion. I just went, tested this out. I thought the results of it, just from a quick spot test, were so bad that it didn't even look to me like I needed to go further. And I usually do this kind of a test and I wanted to basically just talk a little bit more about like Microsoft and the context of what's going on at Microsoft also, because I feel like they've just missed the bar on AI to such a surprising degree. Not exactly sure what's going on there. I have friends that work at Microsoft and I mean, I don't ask them about this, uh, but definitely it feels like there's a lot of misses. And so, yeah, I thought this would, could be a little bit more rambly, a little bit more freeform and uh, members video here. Especially since I, I, I don't want to, you know, do full production on a video for something that I think is pretty weak when there's like really a good alternative out there that in the 14B, they've also got a 14B on the Quinn 3 is vastly superior to this. So the 5-4 reasoning uh, is out. 14B, it's on Olama. If you look at the size of the download for the FP16, it's 27.3 gigabytes. And with a 32K context, you're looking at a pretty good amount of uh, occupied RAM. So 83 gigabytes is roughly what you would be at there. And I tossed it, it, it is speedy. I did toss it peppermint, uh, just spelled the word peppermint. And it immediately, unfortunately, got P-E-P-P-M-I-N-T. And that tells me that there's a breakdown in the understanding, and that is a catastrophic thing for a small model to have and exhibit right off the bat in such a manner. The even worse thing is that it caught that it was misspelling peppermint, and because it actually came back and did spell peppermint uh, a couple of times, peppermint right there. You could see it missing and putting in M I R N T, mernt. Uh, I'm from the South. I can hear people pronounce things pretty weird. I pronounce things pretty weird probably. Um, but that was uh, pretty surprisingly, uh, just not not good. And looking through this, I really got discouraged to even bother trying to put together a video on it. I don't think it would be something I would use. It's not even going to be something I leave hanging around. And of course, you would know that if it's dropping that ER on Pepper, one of those is a vowel. And so it, it was surprising. It thinks it thinks more than Quinn 3 thinks somehow. I don't know how these uh, companies are cramming so much reasoning. It's kind of funny also because it has the plus, if you see here, there is a non-plus and a plus version. The plus version thinks even more. And I mean, you can see how much it's thinking here. This is an insane amount of thinking effort that was put into this. And it did maintain a good tokens per second at 22.47. The prompt tokens were 1,200, uh, 1,273. The total time thinking was two minutes and 45 seconds. And the total amount of tokens utilized 3,983, all for it to get three Ps and two vowels at the end of it. And it's really important on the reasoning, especially models, to look at this and kind of see why it breaks down. And reasoning models on small sizes for things like phones are probably one of the things that as a local hoster or a self hoster should be motivating you. I, I, I have Pocket Pal. I load various models from Hugging Face on there and test them out, see if I can lock the phone up. That happens quite frequently. So I, I think that is something that definitely is interesting. However, we had some news recently and some even more recent news today about Microsoft. And so they've frozen 1.5 gigawatts of uh, essentially electric capacity that they had planned on turning into data center operations. They size these things in gigawatts, megawatts, uh, and they basically are very long-term projects that cost a lot of money to start, cost a lot of money to stop. And especially if they don't think they're going to be able to hit a return on investment for that or a return on investment that looks right, they probably should stop. And we see that their pauses most of those are pauses on internal, like kind of Microsoft through and through data centers and not necessarily leased out space from external parties. But it just speaks to there's something going on big at Microsoft right now. And you can feel the vibe in the air. It is it is palatable. And it is it is interesting. Also, we had the CEO of Microsoft uh, today saying just 
I guess it would be correct to say kind of bizarre stuff. Let me see. I'm definitely not installing Windvine. Uh, but yeah, Team Blind, where a lot of people actually can anonymously communicate that work at Fortune 500s, FANG kind of companies, uh, they they can kind of, you know, be be themselves a little bit more here. I mean, the, this is crazy. The Microsoft CEO says it's using 30% of the company's code. The 30% of the company's code was written by AI. I mean, where did, when I heard that, I was like, is that... Is that a brag? Is that a flex? Is that what you want people to? Because I mean, people have a laundry list of problems with Windows 11, especially like it's not it's not functioning properly in a lot of lights and they're just ignoring some of this. So I think there's a lot of things that people may want to pay a little bit more attention to. You can just go to Team Blind. You don't have to log in or anything. Just go to the company Microsoft and just their most recent post here is this. And I mean, Microsoft apparently employees, we don't know that they are, but apparently employees saying total BS, not even a unit test can be written with Copilot because of a lack of context. And we have really good successes from OpenAI and Anthropic into computer use. And yet we see Microsoft with an operating system and Copilot having so many problems. It's a, it's a really good thing. I, I would recommend you check that out. I think there's something happening at Microsoft that's pretty big. Not sure exactly where it goes from here. But I do feel like they've really missed the boat with AI and AI assistive technologies. And it is baffling why. It is very baffling why. And when you see a model out here that is just released and it does, you know, this poorly kind of right off the bat, I mean, it caught that it was misspelling it. It spelled out peppermint, it spelled out multiple variants that are not even possible. And then it gives you the incorrect answer. You've got to really be wondering what is happening and i think if we go to hugging face and take a look here at the models that are getting downloaded uh of course we got the quinn 3 that's up there at the top but if we go down a little bit here maybe we can find microsoft okay so their bitnet probably is one of their more exciting things maybe going on right now and their phi 4 family here so we've got the reasoning which is a mini reasoning I didn't test the mini reasoning. I, I went straight to the big, big one here. I did set the top. I did set the temp. I did set the context. I read through all of this. I don't see how these scores could be accurate that they're claiming based upon just that quick initial test and failure. And I mean, there's no chance I can review every single model. And I don't want to review models if I'm of the opinion that they have uh, necessarily like some problems right off the bat. Uh, it, it, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of editing. It takes a lot of effort. And at the end of the day, if my recommendation is don't go and install it, then like I've kind of wasted my time and I've kind of wasted your time. But making these things for members only at some point in the future, maybe a couple of days, maybe a week or so, I'll probably transition this to the public. But yeah, I would say if you're looking at uh, Hugging Face uh, or the Five Four reasoning model, you might just think about whether or not you really uh, want to do that. I mean, it was trained or possibly tuned in a very short amount of time on not a lot of GPUs with not a ton of tokens. So quite possibly that is one of the reasons, but even with 16 billion tokens, it really feels like it should have had the ability to spell right off the bat. And I, I would expect there to be big gaps in its knowledge, but spelling common words is not one of them. And that kind of a failure puts it in not even a, it's worthy to be in the same classification as most of the other models out there. So yeah, that one I wanted to just let you guys know about and uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And yeah, I will be reading your feedback and definitely Quinn 3, more stuff coming on that. Really exciting model. But a little bit of extra content for you, the people that are the members of the channel and eventually at some point this goes live. So if you are interested in getting more kind of recent and fast breaking, but maybe not going to surface all the way to the top information, you might consider joining as a member to the Digital Space Corps channel. Uh, this is going to start out members only and then transition to live. And you can always check out more information at digitalspaceport.com where we've got rig guides, we've got builds, we've got tick, trick, trick, tips, tricks, and a lot of other things. See, like that, you got to edit that out in a like full production. It takes time. And I don't, I don't think this video would get more than a couple thousand views. So it's just not worth it. 
But uh, yeah, check out digitalspaceport.com. Thanks for showing up and have a good rest of your day.